Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Shadow Fury333, and we have two bosses left in the entire game to fight. Just thought it'd be worth noting. Just two. That's it. That's all that's left. Like, we have Frida, we have Soul Cinder, and then we're done. All bosses run over. So, we're very near the end. And this took a lot less time than I thought it would. And that hurt. I probably should be well advised... Ow. Not to drop off things. Also, crabs. We have crabs again. I mean that in plural, apparently. There are multiple crabs. I can't remember if there's anything worth going for here. I feel like there is. In fact, I distinctly recall there being... But I don't remember the exact details. There's also a homeward bone. There's always a hint that you're going the wrong way. Or at least going through a one-way path and the game's trying to tell you, Hey, maybe, maybe, bright idea, don't do this. Maybe go another way. Oops. So I think this tree goes berserk if I recall correctly. I seem to remember it just completely flails and tries to kill you, but it doesn't have a chance to do so, so nope. Also, another sorcery. I might want to play around with these. I actually don't think I'm going to be upgrading my intelligence anymore, because I'm fairly certain that I don't need to, or rather I can't. Like, if I want to stay level, below level 120, I've already botched having an intelligence of 40, which is the next threshold, I think. So, yeah, as far as I know, this is... I'm fine. I'm fine for any spells I'm likely to cast from this point on. Yeah, I seem to recall that this area is actually where you get to the bit that leads out. That leads up the mountain and leads up to the Sister Frida boss fight. But I'm not entirely sure. How much health does this thing have? Oh, a lot. Okay. Fair enough. Last thing I want, though, is to have a bunch of fire following me up this ladder. Thus it dies. Also, I don't remember if those two crabs have anything that they drop. I mean, I kind I could check, I suppose. I just don't really care. Like, okay, there are a couple of crabs. I've beaten loads of crabs. I don't see any reason to beat those two. If they have anything, oh well. I've pretty much got my build set, so I don't really need a whole lot of other things, unless it may be slightly more efficient armor. But otherwise, nope. Can't think of much. Oh, maybe. Oh, I think I remember... Oh, yeah, this just gets you back up if you wanted to go back the way I came. Right, okay. Well, that's not a major concern of mine at the moment. Oh, but I need to go up that way. Never mind. Let's... Let's continue. Yeah, I don't remember the exact layout of the area. I think... Given them on this side now, and the church is all the way over there... Yeah, so I go up here, from here you get to the Corvian village, and you have to go through there to get up back to the cathedral, or the chapel, I guess, whatever. Get back to the church in order to get to Sister Frieda's boss fight. But that involves going up here, and then you go around and fight some of those, those followers, and then also some flies. Those are flies. They'll try to kill me. I will do what I can to kill them first. Hmm, that worked. I did what I could. I killed them first. Oh, except this one. Well, I mean, I will kill it, but... I killed it first! Okay. And now we got another Dark Spirit invasion. Do they only happen in that first section? I feel like they do. I'm also starting to wonder if I'm... remembering things wrong. Because I know down here there's something, but I don't think it's the same th something as if I go up. Or you fall and... Well, that happened. Right, right, right. They quality of life the Titanite Lizards. So it's actually not a problem anymore. Yeah, where's your... Oh, none of you have shields. Well, then I will go with the bow. No, I will go with this. The bow actually has a way of getting past shields. But... No, I'm going to go with the other weapon. That doesn't require that you don't have sh... Okay, here's the path to the Corbian village. Right. So that ladder must be a return path through back up to the... Oh, which I can get to. 
Yeah, the return path up to the other side of the bridge. All right, that makes sense. So yeah, you can go here either way, and then once you go through here, then you get to the Corvian village. And the Corvian village has all the Corvians, as the name suggests. It's actually the easiest area in the game. Or not the game, the, it's the easiest area in the DLC. Like that first area I went through with the wolves and the Millwood Knights and all that stuff, that I would be surprised if someone at level 40 and 50 on their first time through would have an easy time getting through that. This area here with the Corvian village, no problems. You could fairly easily get through it. Or at least with minimal difficulty. Like, it's not the hardest, but it does lend credence to my idea that you're intended to go through this area fairly soon after you discover it, rather than at the end of the game. Like, first, if you were playing this game when it came out in the first place, it would be, obviously, at the end of the game, because you would have beaten the game. Unless you decided to start a new playthrough for the DLC as well. You made a mistake, good sir. I, oh. Oh, oh, shoot, I know what they're going to do. Crap. No, they didn't make a mistake. They did that intentionally. One thing that is a little bit of a of a counterpoint for my little theory that it's you're meant to go through this way when you get the chance to rather than, you know, eventually later on down the line. There's enemies in there that are going to make my life pretty difficult. And... Oh, okay. And they are right before I get to the Corvian Village. Like, this whole area has got a weird difficulty curve to it. There's some areas where I think, you know what? Level 40, level 50, no problem. Other areas on the way to those areas make me feel like you're supposed to be end game, Level 90, 100. And it's very bizarre. I just don't know what to expect. So, given the circumstances, and the fact that I have now got an invader who is going to be tagging along helping the jerks that are going to be dropping down from the bridges and making my life miserable, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do here. Oh, that, that works. Yeah, these guys are a pain in the butt. Ah! Did I just get... I just lost a pair of opportunity. I mean, a repost opportunity. But hey, that works. Ow. Yeesh. I think that was a grab attack, if I recall correctly. But no matter, I managed to get through that. I'm actually kind of impressed with myself there. Oh, this is going to go to the other one, isn't it? Or is there another one? I don't recall if there is another one. I mean, there are some... Ow! Oh, what the? How did you move that fast? Ah! Okay. And now I get to combo you. Yeah. No! Ah! Oh, darn, I almost got the backstab. Okay, well, at least they're using relatively reasonable weapons. Not great PvP weapons, necessarily, but overall reasonable weapons. Uh, of course, making my life still kind of miserable when fighting them. I guess they figured I would have to deal with the claw thing and thus get damaged as a result of that. Ha uh. Oh, come on. Yep. Oh no! Come on! Give me one PvP victory! Alright. We're back. No other PvP people. I did Ember up again just in case, because I know I can beat these fights. It's just... I'm not quite doing it. It's really embarrassing. I feel like I need to redeem myself. But then that's how I feel at all times about everything, so... I guess that's just my... that's me problem. Anyway, Corvian dude. Oh, well, there is nothing forlorn about you. You must be the other Ash, I suppose. Oh, oh, finally, 
You have come, O oh, wondrous Ash. Grant us our wish. Okay. Make the tales true, and burn this world away. Sure. My lady must see flame, and you have only to show her. Yeah, that won't be hard. Well, actually, it will be hard. Ash, are you not? Is it not fire that you seek? Yep. But that witch fooled the good father and buried the flame. That'd be free. Not so, please, grant us one wish. Make the tale. My lady. What's that? Oh, I am so terribly frightened of timidly rotting away like those. Like uh, those fools yeah. on the outside. Oh. I can't remember if he does anything different. I forgot to mention last episode. If you beat the game in the Lord of Londor ending, so you have to you have to do the quest that involved letting Henri die, which was I I don't know half the series ago that even came up. But if you let Henri die, then you end up basically set and do a bunch of other stuff. Where you go hollow. You end up getting this ending set up where you usurp the flame, and now you're the Lord of Londor, and everyone in the Ashes DLC pretty much addresses that. They address you differently. They call you a lord or talk about your lord, the fact that you're a lord, the fact that your lord has to deal with the subjects, the sort of, or their subjects, not necessarily his, I mean, this character's female, but you have to deal with your subjects, and instead of telling you, you don't belong here, they tell you, you're busy, aren't you? Go deal with your stuff. And it's a bit, it's kind of neat. Little Neat little bit of attention to detail. But this character is not a Lord of Londor, nor will they be a Lord of Londor. That is not the ending this character is going for. So that is more of a curiosity than anything. I mean, the other character I did was a Lord of Londor. So if you want to see that, I guess there's the other Let's Play. I'm not proud of it, but it exists. Actually, around this, around the Ashes DLC, I, I got the groove more or less down. So it's, it's okay by then. At any rate... This character is going to be doing the more vanilla stuff, or getting the more vanilla reactions. Yeah. Does that wake this person up? No. Are they dead or just sleeping? I can't tell. Also, a bunch of wooden doors that only open from one side. Because reasons. Also, if you that the enemy I was fighting before was too easy, the one with the hook hands... Don't worry, there's a harder one up ahead. Although, to be fair, like I said, this area is the area I figure lends credence to my theory that this is expected to be addressed roughly after you find it. Which is when you're at the Cathedral of the Deep. That is halfway through the game. This, I feel overleveled. And, like I said, I'm not surprised that I feel overleveled. So if I go this way, I get to a bunch of other bits that are neat. I think I should get to the twinkling titan, or the titan lizard I keep hearing. I might, I don't know. Yeah. Another one of these dudes. Actually, you know what? Ow. It occurs to me that I might want to change out my evil eye ring with Aldous Ruby. Because at this point I'm running two at once since I'd like to have the HP bonus. Okay, don't want to fall. Don't want to fall. It's okay. No, I want to have the HP bonus from the Ring of Favor, and I want to have some other stuff as well. Like the Steel Protection Ring. Oh, I don't think I needed to jump there. But I like having those rings. And I don't really want to sacrifice them for one extra way of getting HP back by killing... Well, okay, it's tempting to sacrifice them for one extra HP way of gaining HP by killing things. But killing things and getting critical attacks are both the most reliable and the most useful, like, profitable in terms of how much you get back ways of getting back HP by killing things. Getting it by attacking things is great in boss fights, but against mooks, it's not a particularly useful approach. Bing! Boom! There we go. Large Titan Night Shards. See what I mean? Large Titan Night Shards. I'm, I'm well past the point of needing Large Titan Night Shards. Even if I needed to get them for the new weapons here, if I were to use them, I'm still well past the point. It doesn't really matter anymore to me. Speaking of which... Yeah! Oh, I missed. Crap. Okay, well, I don't think I healed up, so I'm pretty sure that... Or, as Ember... No. I don't think I hit the bonfire, so I'm fairly certain I can get through here no problem. 
Yep. Ah, second time's the charm. Crow quills. This is actually a pretty neat weapon. Basically, it's it's a sword. It's a saber, a rapier, and the two hand, and they get this. It's a weird combination thing. I think you actually also get, yeah, you get to throw these, which is kind of cool. They're not that useful, but they are kind of cool. Granted, this also is totally unupgraded. I don't plan to use it. It's just, it's a neat little weapon. It's a neat weapon with a neat two-handing mode. Actually, come to think of it, you could get it, per if you wanted to build for it, you could do that fairly early on in the game. Because, again, this is, this is an area you can access midway through. Actually, come to think of it, what are the stat requirements for that weapon? I'm almost... Eh, easy. Yeah, that's... Mm. The scaling's probably gonna be okay if I wanted to go for it, but meh. I'm not super keen. I like the Twin Blades. I like having double blades. Like, I don't, I don't see you need to have this fancy little ranged option that's not that useful when you think about it. Because you're going up in the air and then you're kind of stuck. Any fast enemy's gonna either dodge it or not really be a problem because you can just kill them with other means. Mind you, the enemy that we're going to fight, the one I mentioned is a pain in the butt, they use that exact weapon. Which is why I was kind of happy to have grabbed it now, so I can show it off in a safe environment before, show before it gets shown off for me. Oh wait, I don't want to kill these guys. They're non-hostile, and that's what the thing here with the crow quills does. See? Yeah. Ha. Oh, wow. You you attack fast. What the? Oh, I have no stamina left. Crap. Oh, right. His are really strong. I forgot about that. Like I said, it's not upgraded on my end, but still, you know, it's still like C scaling for dexterity with 40 dexterity. It shouldn't be a ma ow. massive problem. Ow. Uh, why can't I parry? I don't like that. Like, I get- I can roll, but I can't do defensive actions when I'm getting attacked. If I'm in the middle of a combo, I can't parry, I can't quick step. Like I said, I can roll, which is nice, but I just always find that annoying. I'd like to be able to quick step. I'd like to be able to parry. Actually, I know why it bugs me. I don't want to say this, because I said I wouldn't whine about this. But Bloodborne does it that way. In Bloodborne, if you're getting attacked, as you're getting comboed, you can actually pull your gun and shoot. Or you have your gun out, but you can shoot with the gun in the middle of their attacks. In Dark Souls 3, you can't attack during enemy attacks if you're getting comboed. You can roll, like I said, but you can't attack. At least you don't seem to be able to. So I'm still in a bit of the habit of, oh, I'm getting attacked, I'm getting attacked, I'm getting attacked, hit parry and then smack in the middle of their combo. But that clearly doesn't work. I mean, it... If you time it right, yeah, or if you get missed by the first hit of the combo, sure. But, generally speaking, no. Which... I'm surprised I'm actually still expecting, after all this time back in Dark Souls 3. But I guess I learned slow. Yeah! Okay. Where was that bug? There's a bug. Oh, I think that one's a rooftop entrance only. Okay. So if I go around here, I'll get up a ladder. There should be one here-ish, actually. Ah, uh, okay. There it is. And there's the thing that vomits blood. You really should get that checked. Is what I would say if I didn't have a sword jammed up your butt. But I do, so maybe get that checked instead. I recommend getting the sword removed. Oh, wait, I just did that. Didn't seem to help. You know, I'm not really much of a doctor, I gotta say. I mean, the first do no harm thing clearly is presenting some problems. I think I'd be rejected right out of the gate. Like, wouldn't even let me within 10 kilometers of medical school. I I just kill it. I, I mean, anything further beyond that would already be dead. I think by that point, it'd be a bit of a warning. Maybe you don't let me in. Alright, so, at any rate, you've got you... Alright, we're okay. That wasn't me! That was gravity! I didn't kill everybody! It's... Ah! 
Gravity is an even-handed mistress. Alright, well, that's a bit of a pain. Let's go back up. Let's deal with that again. Because that what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's how you get to the flies, maybe. This area is really grossly rotted. Yeah. Alright, I still get HP off of killing. For what it's worth, because I'm getting hit by magic. Even though I've got actually quite a bit of magic defense. Honestly, my build is basically prepping for the boss fight, even though I'm nowhere near it. A good hour away, honestly. But, maybe. Maybe closer than I think. I've been consistently surprised at how fast this game goes. Especially given that I know a lot of how it goes. It really helps with the speed. Oh, what? Did I miss a thing? I don't recall missing anything. Okay, so one thing I can... Okay, so first off, I'm just going to go up here. Oh, what? there's a thing there? Oh, I have to get there elsewhere. Elsewise. So first off, might as well open this area up. And open the door up. And grab some HP. I mean, kill them for HP, obviously. That's how it works. I'm a vampire. Hey, the Slave Knight stuff. That's apparently actually the most efficient armor I can get for the damn, or, like, the most efficient armor in the game for defense for weight. Seriously, it is. If you go to any of the things like Mugen Monkey and you get armor optimization, it'll always go for this if you want to have relatively light clothing. And, nope, nope, not, not light enough, unless the leggings are more efficient, I don't know. Maybe the combination of the two, it's, yeah, I don't know if I really want to use the Slave Knight stuff. I just remember it got recommended to me when I was looking up what armor would it, what how does this armor optimizer work and it went slave knight leggings which was a very simple way of working also meh slightly better physical not really much use anywhere else I'll stick with what I have forget Mugen monkey I have my own way so did I miss anything yes well not much Okay, so other than the Slave Knight gear, that was kind of a waste of time. Let's go back. Okay, maybe you don't get from one place to the other. How do you get... What is the point of this section? Is this... Oh, it's a shortcut drop, that's why. You can get here from above. Or I can do what I just did, which is jump. And then jump here, and what do I get from here? Rusted gold coin. Ooh, nice. And there's no obvious way into the actual building. Okay, I'm missing something. What does the sign say? It's not bad advice, but it's not especially useful in this circumstance. No, I guess there's no easy way to get in there. What the heck? Like, there's something in there, and there's a path on that side. Oh! Pfft. I'm blind! There was a door. Well, doorway. There might have been a door in the past, but... I actually can't even assume that much. Alright, now we can continue. Okay, so now that that area's been opened up, we can just continue along, and I think this is... I feel like this is still a side mission. I'm trying to remember exactly where you go to... Whoa, never mind. That's actually where we started. I almost fell back, because of course that's where we start, because that's why I came here in the first place. I mean, up here, rather than just going down the other way, because there's no ladder up to the top. You have to take this weird roundabout route. And that gives me up here, which means I can get rid of these two. I can't remember if there's anything actually worth having up here. Other than weird... Corvian sorcerer types that somehow have more power than I expect, and also vomit venom in the same way that I saw the 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 demon princes do. I had never noticed that before. Also, crow quills, which are another neat weapon if you want to do interesting but questionably moral things with your hands. Basically, if you want to become Freddy Krueger, this is the Freddy Krueger weapon. I don't know if there's actually a build for it. I guess if you go hollow, you get... Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess if you go hollow, you get something that 
actually works kind of like that. You get that weird sort of undead burn. Well, not really a burned look. You need to, you need a burned look. It it would be a bit more harder than just having those weapons. At any rate, I can't remember how I got past this section. So I have to get past this section. Oh, right, now I remember. It's actually fairly easy. One last path I could have taken. Up here, this ladder that I dropped down from. Going up gets you to the next area. And also magic weapon, because magic weapon is never a bad idea. And, oh, where is it? Oh, it's on that side. Okay, that makes sense. There's one of those crow quill wielders. But it's on the other side. Oh, they're already dead. Already dead. I can't remember if any of these are still alive, honestly. Zip. Pium. Ah. Ha. Ow. Shoot, no, I... Well, that was suicide. No, it's quite suicide. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not... Hang on, hang on. I'm not gonna die. Well, I might die. I haven't actually decided yet. I'll figure it out in a sec. Ow. Ah. Ow! Oh, wow, I'm so close to bleed. I'm very close to bleed. But I might... I'm not gonna bleed! I'll be fine! I lived! And I got some Estus back. Awesome! Alright, well, that worked. After a fashion. Probably should have cast... Uh, if I have to do that again, note to self, cast Spook first. Just in case you fall. Yeah, beyond that, and it's a few small things with another small set of those enemies. And then we get to the church with that painter girl in it. Which I think is where I'm going to end off the episode, but we'll see how long it takes. For now, though, that was just a shortcut back. And also the Titan Lizard went and died and gave me the Twinkling Titan Eye. But that's the shortcut that gets you to the house here. Which we don't need to do since I jumped up there. And now it is the church roof bit. Where we walk on church roofs. And ideally not fall in, although I think I have to at some point. I can't remember exactly how this works, because if you go down here, there's... Oh, there's that for one thing. But there's also some other things you can get to if you drop down. Because these churches, at least one of them has a bunch of those Corvian Crow Quill wielders. Actually, it's a it's a pair of them, so I hope you enjoyed fighting them. I hope, I hope it was enjoyable to fight them, because now we fight too. Oh, but I think this is where we actually get onto those rafters. Yes, there is. Good. I'd like to be a bit hidden for right now. Let's do it without having to worry so much about being up here. Okay, so there is just the one... Oh, no, there are two. Shoot, there are indeed two. Okay, there we go. Now they're on both on the ground, so I can deal with them a bit more easily. A bit. I mean, I don't know how much I want to even try with this. I think the, I think the Crotons one can actually get me. For now, though, Rafter time! I mean, the one with the Oh, what? Okay, screw it. It's bow time. Aha! Bows are faster! I think I can take the other one in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but I don't want to take up two at once. These are way too fast for my tastes. Oh! Right! That's a counter hit! Like, it's a riposte setup, which is kind of bizarre, but yeah, it is. Okay, you're going to get hit eventually. Yeah. Oh yeah, right, I can hold I can hold the arrow until I want to actually release it. I forgot that that little benefit of bows. Bows are really cool weapons. And you know what? Screw it. Arrow to the head. I think this one's a bit more of a threat. They can actually jump up here. No, I guess they can't. Oh, yes, they can. 
They are a threat. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Uh, if I can just drop, drop onto you? Nope. I should have probably started with that. Nope. Ah, this is not going to work. I shouldn't have gone off the raptors. That was my first mistake. Possibly my last mistake. Ah. Oh, but the raptors get in the way. Handy. Why are you throwing those? Ow. I mean, that's really... I think it's a really pertinent question right now. Why are you throwing them when I'm right here? In your face! Ranged weapons are usually a bad idea at melee range. I figured you'd know that. I was wrong. Oh. A miracle that I don't really need. Well, that was... That was a lot of effort for a reward that this build doesn't really use. But on the other hand, I got a lot of useful stuff for this build that I might not use, but could use for free. So, I think it's fair. Anyway, with that taken care of in the more intelligent way, since, you know, I didn't die. And what was back here? <laughs> Down the well you go. Oh, what? Or not. Okay. That was unexpected. Ah, come on. Seriously, you're like halfway down the well. And here I'm thinking it was funny that you dropped into the well and I thought you'd be dropping a long way to your death and it turns out that no, that's not how it works. Man, I'm disappointed. Well, at any rate, nothing back here. I wonder if I could hit him with a firebomb. Yeah. Bam! Yes, I can! Oh, that actually has a stun effect. I... That's good to know! I wonder if there's a stun effect on the big ones. The ones with the rapiers and crow claws. Or crow, crow quills and crow claws, or whatever it's called. Crow quills and crow talons, that's what it is. Yeah, if they have that... If they have that weakness. Fire makes them flail. That'd be really handy. But yeah, so that up there, I believe, is the path that I need to take in order to get to a church that's around the other side. But I don't remember exactly. Might actually be over here, now that I think about it. That church might be unnecessary. Or maybe not. Ow! Okay. How much range does this thing have?! Man, I'm tempted to chop down every tree in the neighborhood just to spite this thing. Okay, whatever, it's dead now. It made its last mistake. Though perhaps so have I. Where is that church? I basically want to get through somewhere relevant to a chapel on the other side that's going to have the stuff that I need in order to get... Well, the location I need in order to get further. But I think... Oh, right. This bit. Yeah, I remember what's here. Okay, I'm going to have to get more Estus first. So, the thing that's in here that I'm so scared of that I went and got my Estus partially back, that Crow Quills wielder is a pain in the butt, is that guy. The guy that was in front of the chapel last episode, Sir Wilhelm. Every fleeing man must be caught. Every secret must be unearthed. Such is the conceit of the self-proclaimed seeker of truth. Oh, says the guy with a dark hand. End, you lack the stomach for the agony that you'll bring upon yourself. I know what the agony is I'll bring upon myself. I brought upon most of it anyway. This is just the final bit. I'm prepared. Come at me, bro. Ow! I repeat, come at me, bro. Oh, you're gonna heal up, are you? Oh, crap. Damn it, why'd you have to position yourself where I couldn't backstab you? I'll combo you and make that heal completely worthless. Ha! Try! Oh, that's a flambearish, isn't it? That's gonna make me bleed. Oh, it's not quite a flambearish, it's. Oh. 
It's a different type of sword. I think it's dark damage. I'm not sure. Yeah! Ah! Darn it. I almost nailed the... Okay, this fight is still annoying because it's a stupid heal spell. Okay. Oh, nice. That's right. If I do that... I don't have the shield break, but I do have ways of getting past their attempts to... Ow! Deal with me! Darn it, I'm so bad at this. I hate fighting other humanoid opponents. I don't know why it's so difficult. Especially when stuff like that doesn't work. Why is... Ugh! Quit having attacks of varying timing! Makes it so much harder to parry you. Ah, there we go. I, made it. I swore an oath. But I have failed you. Lady. And... And you're telling me that I lack stomach, huh? I mean, you lack everything now. Oh. I mean, that's why the pile of books... I was about to say, man, it'd be, it would suck if you were under that and got killed by it, but it occurs to me there's a pile of books there for a reason. Where's the painter? Shoot, where'd the painter go? There's supposed to be a painter... Oh, maybe on the second floor. I think there's second floor or third floor. Get up here, you get up this section here, you get... Do I find the painter? I do! Hey, painter. I believe... I feel the scent of ash upon thee. Thou art the one of whom Uncle Gale spoke. The one to show me flame. That's right. Tis good. When this is done, may I return. The door is open thanks to thee. Tis good. I'll head off to paint. Okay. I promised Uncle Gale I would. Okay, cool. Tis the door is open. What door ex I mean, there's the door that leads to the outside, yeah. Which is a pretty good door. Can't say I have any complaints about this door. Except it lacks a door. I mean, to be fair, that is a bit of a fundamental structural problem with that door. However, that being said, we are basically at the area I was expecting to... What? Oh, right. The okay. There's a bonfire right up here. I just might as well get to that. It's actually kind of silly. There's a bonfire right here, and the shortcut's right there, and it's honestly kind of weird that it's out of the way it is, because you get up to this section so quick. Like, you open this up. Hey, it's her again. I don't know why they set this up this way. It's very bizarre. And then I think if I go up here, I'll immediately get around... I mean, there's a few follower legion people. But yeah, I immediately get around at the top of the building. And, hey, all of a sudden I can get to the elevator, so... Or, wait, can I? Hmm. Actually, you know what? I might be... No, I'm getting ahead of myself on this one. This one actually isn't quite so easy. Ah. Well, this is roughly... Once I manage to get the... Ow. Let's manage to get these things down. Be roughly where I want to call it. Although, where do I get... Oh yeah, more SS would be nice. So, let me think. From here, I go up there. Oh, right. This is actually a bit more complicated than I gave it credit for. Yeah, it's a bit of a roundabout path to get that shortcut. So, that is a meaningful shortcut. But, yeah, for whatever reason, you go here and... Hey, it's a bonfire! So, this is a bonfire that I will end at... So, again, thanks for watching, and until next time, which will, I think, be the last time, actually, if I've if I measured this out right, this sh next episode should be the final one. Enjoy stuff.